Hey, what's up YouTube? How's it going? Thank you for joining me today, guys. I appreciate that. If you haven't done so yet, go down and subscribe to my channel. Like this video, that helps me out a lot. So today, I have another microphone review for you guys by a company called Toner. This is actually going to be a condenser microphone with a phantom, it's gonna require phantom power. I'm pretty excited to review this. It looks pretty cool, check this out. This is the um, Amazon page right here. It goes for $47.99. I mean, just looking at the picture, I'm like, whoa. This totally looks worth it. It even looks like it comes with like a little interface right there. So I'm pretty curious on how this is gonna work. Um, yeah, this is the box right here. As I said earlier, the company is called Toner. So as usual, guys, let's go ahead and do a quick unboxing followed by a review. <laughs> So guys, check this out. Just off the bat, I just opened the box. It looks like you get a lot of stuff in here. It looks like you get everything you need. And let's take a look back at the Amazon page. I'll have this link down in the description below in case you want to check this out yourself. Um, but it says that it is a Pro Condenser Microphone XLR to 3.5 millimeter podcasting studio recording condenser microphone. But yeah, Pro Condenser Microphone. So. I mean, they're making some pretty big claims here, guys. This thing should be a quality recording microphone. So let's go ahead and look at everything that came in here. So it looks like we got a pop filter right here. We got a shock mount right here. That's pretty cool. Really cool. Um, okay, this looks like a... I'm not really sure. Don't quote me on that. I'm going to have to take a closer look at that. Got the instructions right here. Awesome. Um... So this looks like, you know what this might actually be guys? This might actually be the phantom power. I was saying interface earlier, this might be the, uh, this might be like a phantom power or something. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't read the instructions yet. I don't know much about this yet. This is the actual microphone. Um, I mean, it's got some weight to it. It's not really heavy. So let's just go ahead and put that over there. We got the, okay, this looks like the 3.5 millimeter cable to XLR cable right here. What's this? Oh, this is a um, kind of like, oh, I forgot what these are called, but it's kind of like a windsock thing that goes over the mic. That's really interesting. I've never used one of these with a condenser mic. That's pretty cool. Um, okay, it looks like we got some hardware. I'm not sure what that's for yet. Oh, you know what this is? This is to clamp the, because what happens is this microphone comes with a, um, like an arm, like a stand to hold the microphone, and th that part that I just showed you guys is the clamp that clamps to your desk, so that's what that is. Um, and I'm assuming this is going to be the stand. Oh, look, it looks like another XLR cable with a... S and the stand. So, let's go ahead and unpackage all this stuff and get a better look at everything. But yeah, it all came packaged. I like how it was all packaged in this box. Really cool. It's kind of like an all-in-one kind of setup, which is awesome. So you can just like start your podcasting or recording, whatever you want to do right off the bat. All right, guys, so this is everything that came in the box. It came with a lot of stuff. Like, this is like an all-in-one setup, which is awesome. And I just want to go back to this pop filter and show you guys the size of it. This is a big pop filter. Like, check out the pop filter that I have, the one that I've been using for years. This is the size of the pop filter that I use, and this is the one that came with this mic. Like, you could definitely see, like, it's much bigger. And also, the pop filter that I already had only has one layer of material. This one has like two. So like one on the back and one in the front. Like there's a gap between the material. Like there's two pieces of material there. So I'm assuming this one's gonna work really good. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the instructions and get this thing set up.
All right, guys, so check it out. I finished setting up the microphone. I have the phantom power back there, the power going down behind the desk. I have these two inputs, and to be completely honest, I've never used this one. Of course, I've used the headphones one, but I have no idea what that one is. So I wonder if that's meant for this cable? I don't know. After some quick research online, guys, I found out that this second port next to the audio headphones jack is meant for audio line in, meaning I could plug this microphone into that port. I have never used this before. I did not know that. That is really cool. Um, if you guys have a MacBook, like this is like around a 2012 uh, MacBook. So if you guys have this MacBook and you guys have this port, that's what it's for. So let's see if it works. Apparently we should be able to go into the system preferences and select the line in microphone. And here it is right there. Check, check, check. Hello, hello. All right, so guys, so it looks like the internal microphone is off because I'm not seeing any activity on there. And I have not turned on this microphone yet. So we should be in business. In case you have never recorded a microphone into your computer before, you're gonna want to turn the volume all the way down on your computer, especially with a condenser microphone. You're gonna get way more feedback, so just make sure you turn off your audio. Um, you're going to want to use headphones, so make sure you have headphones plugged in. You don't wanna be using like your actual speed. Well, I mean, I guess you could if you do it in a certain way, but I mean, you're better off using headphones when using a condenser microphone like 99% of the time. So let's just go ahead and turn on the phantom power. Light went on. Cool, I didn't even notice there's a light there. And then you're going to need a program to record the audio with. Um, I'm just gonna use uh, Logic Pro 9. It's like an older version of Logic, but I mean, whatever program you have should be fine. All right guys, so right now you're hearing the audio through my camera, and I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to this microphone right now. All right, guys, so now you're hearing the audio through this microphone. I'm listening to it through my headphones, and I got to say, guys, it sounds pretty good. Um, I'm honestly pretty stoked on this microphone. Um, I think it's awesome. It literally came with everything you need. If you wanted to, guys, you could buy this microphone, get it in the mail, and start a podcast right away. Like, I could start a podcast right now if I wanted to. Like, that's how I feel. That's like... I, I like the bendable arm. It's really cool. Like, let's see. Yeah, like I could, I, you guys could still hear me a little bit, but um, the, the bendy arm is super cool, guys. I like how it came with the, I mean, it literally came with everything you need. And for, I think the price was $47.99, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just double check on that. Yeah, $47.99. Free shipping, guys. I mean, I got to say, this is a bargain. Um, before you buy this, just make sure that your computer has like a, a 3.5 millimeter input jack like the one that I showed you mine has. Um, if it does not, another another thing that you could do is you could buy like an interface. I'll show you the interface that I have. I, I have a 8-channel interface. It's by a company called PreSonus. Um, it's kind of on the expensive side, but you could buy a small, I mean, it's like oh, around $300 or so, but you could buy cheaper ones that might have fewer inputs. But like, say that you and a friend want to do like a podcast together, you both want to be talking at the same time, then you'll need something that you could plug two things into because um, at least on my computer, I do not have two of those ports. I only have one. So if I wanted to, I could buy several of these and have them all plugged into my um, interface um, I would have to have more XLR cables. I'll just run them with XLR cables instead of that um, 3.5 millimeter um, input that I showed you guys. I know I just said a lot, but I mean like this thing, it's just like, it, it's kind of inspiring, I guess. I feel like I'm on like a radio show. Let's go ahead and slip this thing on. See if it makes a difference to how the mic sounds. Did that make a difference? Check. Whoa, right off the bat, I can tell you it, it makes it sound a lot deader, like you're not hearing so much echo from the room. Can you guys tell the difference? Like it sounds way cleaner with this thing on. That's awesome. I've never used one of those on a condenser mic before, and I think it sounds awesome. Uh, this whole thing, guys, I think they did toner. I think toner did a great job with this. For a really affordable price too, guys, like $47.99, that's really good. Once again, I'm going to link this mic 
down in the description below. I think it's really awesome. Let me know how you guys think it sounds down in the comments below. In my opinion, I think it sounds pretty good. For the price, it's going to be hard to beat this. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn this mic off and I'll continue with my review. All right, guys, so I'm sure you guys can already tell how I feel about this mic, this mic right here. And this is another cool thing, guys. You know, you got this big arm, right? You might think that it's kind of cumbersome. It might be in the way sometimes. But look, just swivel it away when you're not using it, you know? You just have it go, you know, just have it all the way over here when you're not using it. I mean, it's so cool. It makes me feel like I'm on, like, a radio show when I have this, you know? That's, like, how I feel. And it's, like, so easy to adjust. It's, like... You want it higher, you want it lower, you got different people coming in to talk, like, just adjust it by moving it, guys. Like, it has springs on the arms, holds it right in place. Super cool, super cool, guys. For the price, like, you can't beat it. Or, I don't know if you can. If you, if you can beat this for the price, let me know in the comments below, because I would be very curious to know what beats this for around that price range. If you guys are thinking about buying this microphone, I would say, do it. I have the link down in the description below. Go ahead and get it. If if you if you're unsure about buying this microphone, you know you heard me using it. The audio quality sounds good. Um, the price is right. All around, I think it's a good buy. And I don't always say that. Like if you guys are familiar with my review videos, I'm an honest reviewer. So let me know what you guys think, guys. You heard the exact same audio that I heard. You saw how this thing works. Let me know what you guys think about it. And anyways, guys, that's gonna be just about it for this review. I hope you guys liked it. Once again, I'm gonna have this microphone linked down in the description below in case you wanna check it out. If you guys like this video, if you could go down and give it a like, that helps me out a lot. And if you have not done so yet, hit that subscribe button, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.